was about 10 minutes long. We love to see it. This next best of five set could go to five games and still be just as long because Mario versus Captain Falcon. It's a very is an quick matchup. Explosive match. Up. Explosive is putting it lightly. I went to a tournament in Davenport, Iowa, where it was Yumu versus a uh, Falcon player whose name I forget from Iowa. And that was the grand finals. And it was it went to game ten grand finals. And I it was like thirty minutes long. I remember seeing some of the Twitter clips from that. That's, that's Everyone crazy. died. It was just murder. And you're seeing it right here. Dan lands for about a half a second. He's like, I'm gonna throw this F smash out. Get it done. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Two stocks. Yep. That's that's these two characters in a nutshell. People are gonna die. Eat at Arby's. They're gonna, it's just a, <laughs> it's just a big old hoss battle. They're gonna smack rocks out of each other every single time they get an opening, and it's gonna be the coolest thing that we've ever seen. But Dan, the Mario man, does not look like he wants to go up the stage. Look at him fighting, and that's the first hit Captain Falcon's had in 40 seconds. I say, with Dan, he likes to play this matchup. Woo! That, that was actually pretty clever. Just falling with the dare to force like a, a, a reaction button from Arcus that takes his jump. But you, you died right back. That's twice now. Two times. I think Dan is waiting on the angel platform there just kind of catch his breath for a second because this game has been so fast. Oh, good reaction there for the Nair. Up till in the middle of that string. Yo, what are these mix-ups? Shield drop from Arcus on the ledge and oh! I think if Dan DI'd that differently, he gets spiked. Finding the perfect DI. Soft in air. Dan's still staying in this. Oh, that cross-up was so filthy and he got so much damage off of it. And he continues the pressure. Not able to like lead to any of those kill stocks in these situations, which might be Arcus's chance. And look at him going low as he can with the back air. But might pay the price for the high recovery. Oh, and Dan looked to cross up in that position, but the Falcon takes spot so much space. That might be Arch's ticket to a game one victory. Good use of the Nair covering the spot dodge. Dan goes high, gets back on the stage. Back throw. No, forwards are opting to just get stage advantage back. I don't think that back throw would have killed, and I, I think Dan agrees. Oh, fan of footstool? Ooh. That's gonna be it. Yep. But the weight from Dan and Arctis's up B. Normally you can fade on that platform if you angle it properly, but Arctis, I think he faded left in order to catch where Dan's shield was. Mm -hmm. And yep. that meant that the fade was a little bit more predictable, allowing Dan to confirm with the up smash. Yeah, that was Dan reactions right there. He he saw that the up B was happening and he acknowledged that his positioning, okay, he could either drift, go to the platform, or try to get around where Mario is at. So he just did the right move. He just stopped and just tracked him. Because he knew that with that end lag of the up beat, he had enough time to go turn around up smash. So all he had to do was just track him. Don't worry about trying to predict where he's gonna land, just track him. A little bit unfortunate for Arcus. He played very well in that game, but I think both of them did. It was a, one of those games where just, oh, if, you, good. if you blink for a, a, a fraction of a second, you will die. Absolutely. This sets like this is absolutely must. Like no miss action. Like you have to like constantly be watching and paying attention. And if you let out the pressure for a second, you can die on the reverse end. But Dan, oh, that was is on the hunt here. I was to say that was some very quick thinking there. And Arctis like was just trying to get back as quickly as he could. But Dan, quick as a whip, just threw out the down smash, knowing that that option was just gonna be covered. Like, no invincibility on the way down. Dan playing slow and steady around Arcus's pressure. Like, some of those smash attacks from Captain Falcon, you think you can whip punish them, but you really can't. Like, the down smash and the up smash, they're so quick on whip. You just gotta kind of let him throw out those moves and then, like, react to the way Falcon moves after him. 
Exactly. Uh, in matchups like this, Dan's very much a, a player that as soon as he gets the lead, he backs off and plays more reactive. So that way, he knows what Arcus is going to be looking for in general. So if he just kind of ups the defense a little bit more, he knows that it makes it harder for him to accomplish those goals. And there. And waiting at the air dodge is Arcus. And he's again on the hunt. Ooh, Dan, I think he felt pressured. He, he might have not had a jump, or he might have just felt pressured by those falling aerials from Arcus. Hey, he wanted to pop the offensive hitbox. Yeah, and either way, he's going to fall to his doom, but oh, oh baby, the f man, the hot hands get the job done. I'm about to say, he got up while it, there was a little bit of charge in it, too, so that was just like a little bit of extra, you know, a little bit of extra hot sauce on there. Mm. A little bit of pizzazz. Now Dan in the ledge pressure position again, but the, the rising fair neutral air from Arcus doesn't quite kill. I'm about to say, his positioning was right, but he just... Was a little bit off on the execution there. And that so that's what Arcus wanted to do in game one, is fade under that platform and be ambiguous, right? Dan is able to execute that from his position. Oh, oh, he turned around the knee! Oh my god! Turn turn around. Around. I thought he wasn't gonna be able to turn around. That was so sick. Oh dang. the reverse knee? Man, Arcus Arc is killer instinct Arc on full is. display. That's like the second time that he has hit just a clutch down air into knee when he like needed it most to close out a set. That was so sick. Well, not to close out a set in this position, to make it even, uh, right? Right, right. But to close out a game, I guess. Being even is better than a 2-0 deficit. That is true. Like, That's how the math is. So to Smashville we go. And so you know what Dan says? Dan says, I want to make the stage smaller. I want to kill my opponent faster. Whether he kills me faster, eh. Yeah. I'm about to say, this is one of the maps where I feel like this is a true counterpick. Oh Ooh! my god. Scouting well, out the air dodge to the ledge. Brilliant stuff, Marcus. Oh, but here comes Dan. Wait out the air dodge. Still got a lot of control of the stage. Makes it back on. And not having any of it Nair to get out of the strings there. Oh my god, that trade is sent him the Nair just lingered the perfect amount of time to ruin Arcus's up B aggressively. And then he had no jump. He never touched the ground, so no jump off the side. He was done. Just carry there. Oh, the movement. I'd say both players are showcasing some very good movement with their character. And this is why it's showcasing how volatile this matchup is, because if you can position yourself effectively, it just leads to these big strengths and combos naturally. And that wasn't a combo, but that was waiting out those landing dares. Arc is getting a little bit too trigger happy for landing dare and Dan scouting it out brilliantly with the forward smash. As strong a punish as can be, but speaking of strong punishes, neutral get up into roll will just get yep. destroyed by an up smash. Yeah, and honestly, anytime that in that percent, Arctis just is saying, you know what, I'll just bet it on a read. I don't mind. You know, it's, I'm only at 9% on this stock, or 6% on this stock. I can do it. Oh my god. <laughs> if he would have landed that, that was another time. What? Oh, no! Man! That's Butterfingers. That's 100% that's Butterfingers. I feel so bad that's for Arcus. That's the Arcus. saddest thing I've seen in like a hot minute. And I just watched Wally. You know what? I, <laughs> I would be willing to bet money that that interaction was due to the buffer system. He was probably getting another option, but the game just decided, oh, you want down B, right? Maybe he was on the stage, and then, uh, but, but my immediate impression is that he's on the stage, and then he gets hit, and then he's off I'm the about stage. To, it, it has big buffered air dodge vibes. But yeah, that's ultimate for you.
Like he wanted to do side B or down B to get out of the corner. And then he got hit and then the down B triggered while he was off the stage. But you know what, Art just doesn't look too perturbed as he continues an up air ladder to do as much damage as possible to this Mario. Good gentleman there. Going super deep out there for that edge guard. Whipping these smash decks against each other, but Dan will get the first blood. And that's a trade if I ever saw one for Super Dan. I said, they're now at the point where at Co percent they're both just whipping up smash against each other. <laughs> I mean, it's a strategy. Yep. Works really well when you're not fighting against swords, right? That is true. So, oh my god. Dan extending this lead as far as he can. See, and that's what I think. The the nature of this layout, I, this is what I feel makes this such a good counterpick for Mario as opposed to a lot of other stages because it gives... And the Flood gets the job done! So it gives Mario the opportunity to box really well because of the close quarters and the layout itself just allows for these crazy extensions and like, what can you do? But again, Mario and Falcon, they play pretty similarly, so I can't really fault Arctis for counterfeiting here. But it's just Dan it has the killer instinct, you know? That's, that's what it comes down to. Getting these hits in where they matter, getting the trades in where they matter, and finding the edge guards against the other opponent. Mario has a pretty edge guardable recovery by Captain Falcon, but. Okay, waiting out that time. Not gonna fall victim to the flood here. It's Arctis. Okay, falling there on the shield. Gonna buy some space. Let's see if Arctis can turn this around. Nice. Power throw. Stage advantage. Still got it. Not quite there yet. But Arctis has gotta watch out. In the percentage where it one more big trade like that is going to do it, and Super Dan is going to be moving on to winner's final. Very fast, very hard hitting. Game number three might have been a little bit of a gift for Super Dan, but game number four proved that he is here to play. Uh, he means business in just comfortable two stock. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. That was that was just that was fast, hard hitting. Again, they just knocked lumps.